Welcome to Popular History, where we unearth the remarkable tales of the past. Today, we take a leap back to the Victorian era, known for its rapid industrial progress and strict social morals. But behind these advancements lay a grim reality for the underprivileged, a life of severe poverty. How did those at the bottom cope? Let's find out. Imagine living in a world with no social safety nets, no unemployment benefits, no health care, no food security. This was the harsh existence for the poorest during the Victorian era. Cities grew, but with them grew the slums, overcrowded and rife with diseases. Workhouses and poorhouses were the last refuge for many, and these places were designed to be deliberately unpleasant to discourage dependents. Families were often separated, with men, women, and children housed in different quarters, and inmates had to perform grueling work for their upkeep. Children in poverty had it especially hard. Many worked from a young age to contribute to the family's meager income, working in factories, sweeping chimneys, or selling matches. Education was not a priority when survival was at stake. Food was scarce, and a typical meal for the indigent was gruel, a watery porridge that lacked nutrients. Yet, amidst the despair, emerged resilience and resourcefulness. People found ways to survive, whether through mutual aid societies, bartering services, or creative hustling. Street vendors, shoe shiners, and washers took to the streets to earn a penny. Families grew vegetables in small gardens or kept animals on whatever land they could find. Life was tough, but the human spirit endured. As modern society reflects on this period, it becomes evident how transformative social reforms have redesigned our safety nets and reshaped our sense of communal responsibility. Thank you for joining us on this poignant journey through history. We hope you've gained a deeper understanding of the struggle and resilience in human history. If you found this insight as captivating as we did, please hit the like button and subscribe to Popular History for more fascinating stories from the past. Until next time, keep exploring the tales that time has to tell.